Hello and welcome to Anton Math. Now in this video we're going to start talking about relations on sets. And um, while we start talking about the relations, we're going to start off with what we call binary relations. Now a binary relation is called a binary relation because it's going to be a relation between two elements and it's going to be either true or false. Now a binary relation, rho, this is the Greek letter rho, I'll be using rho a lot to talk about relations, from a set S to a set T is a rule that stipulates if the elements S and S and T and T have a certain relationship. So we write S rho T if S and T have the relationship and S not rho T if they do not have the relationship. Now we're familiar with several binary relations already. Um, if we're talking about relations from the set of real numbers to the set of real numbers, uh, equals, less than or equals, and strictly less than are all examples of binary relations that we use all the time when we're comparing two elements of the real numbers. Okay? Now we can also think of any relation as being a set of ordered pairs. So I can define some relation rho as a set. I can say the set rho is the set of all ordered pairs st where s is in s, t is in t, and s and t satisfy the relationship rho, or in other words s rho t. Right? This just means that the relationship rho is satisfied by s and t, or s rho t is true. Now we notice right away that this is going to be a subset of our Cartesian product s cross t, isn't it? Right? This first part here, this means that the ordered pairs are the ordered pairs with s and s and t and t. So those are elements of the cross product s cross t. And this last requirement, s rho t, restricts the set. So this isn't going to be equal to the cross product unless rho is a relationship that applies to every element in both sets but it's always going to be a subset of our cross product s cross t. Okay, so let's have an example uh, so we can kind of see um, what this means in application. Let's let s equal the set 1, 2, 3 and t equal the set 1, 2, 3, 4. We want to find the sets corresponding to the relation sigma and tau where s sigma t if s is less than t and s tau t if s squared equals t. Okay. So sigma is going to be all the sets of ordered pairs st where s is less than t, right? So that's going to be 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 3, 4. Right? These are all of my ordered pairs, s, t, where s is less than t. I've taken all possible ordered pairs for my cross product, s cross t, where this restriction is satisfied, or where this relationship is satisfied. Okay? Now tau, that's going to be all my ordered pairs, s, t, where s squared is equal to t. Well, we know that 1 squared is equal to 1, so 1, 1 is in here. And I have a 2 in my s and a 4 in my t, and I know 2 squared is equal to 4. So 2, 4 is in here. And that's it, isn't it? The only other possible s I could have is 3, but 9 is not in my t. So this is, these are all of the ordered pairs that satisfy the relationship tau on the sets t and s. All right, so those are just some basic examples. Now, from these binary relations, we're going to be able to make compound relations, just like we did with our propositions and our sets. And uh, we'll do that in the next video.